Howdy, Rachel Hog fans. Das Broom here. Hey, I wanted to say, before I get started with my general spiel of keeping everybody up to date, I want to say a huge, huge thank you for everybody that came out to our stream on Saturday. It was a blast. Rose had a lot of fun, and I was supposed to tell you guys thank you, thank you for being there and for supporting her and being there and showing her all your awesome spells and showing her the coolness factor of everything. She had a lot of fun. She enjoyed sitting there and chatting with you guys, seeing everything that was around in the game of Wizard 101. She had a lot of fun. And even though that she's been sick for the past week, seeing her smile and seeing her interact with you guys was a huge support for me. And I want to thank you guys for that. On a side note to that, we have now reached 400 followers on our Twitch stream. Thank you, thank you for that. Uh, when I started doing this as a hobby back in November? Yeah, November. Um, November, December, somewhere in there. I did not think that my channels would get as far as they are right now. I thought, eh, this will be like just a little side project thing and then that'll be it. I don't have that big of a voice, but sitting there and playing Wizard 101, playing Fallout 4, playing World of Warcraft and Elder Scrolls Online, seeing the unique feedback from the community that is growing on the channel is very, very humbling to me. And I want to thank you guys for that because you are the ones that come out on a regular basis. Whenever I do my Wizard 101 streams, it's somewhere between like 10 to 15 people that are constantly there watching. Only some of you are talking in the chat box, and those are the ones I interact with then um, via the chat box. But thank you guys for coming out and watching. And if there is at any point, if there is something that I miss in the game, or if there's something really, really cool that you guys want to show me, let me know, all right? Uh, there was a follower-oriented stream that I did a couple of weeks ago where it was just a Wizard 101 stream on the weekend. I think it was two weekends ago now. Where we just spent the entire stream going around and helping people that were coming out to the stream. And that was a really, really cool factor. is because the fact that we have the ability to help each other. We have the ability to get our voices out there and to feel better about ourselves by helping other people. And who knows, we may actually learn more aspects of the game by doing that. Uh, that's how I find that I do what so well with my college classes right now. It's because the fact I do have that chance, I do have that opportunity to sit there and learn things and be able to understand that. But in order to hammer it home, you need to actually practice it. And that's what I do when people come up to me after class is over and they ask for help on this particular math problem or this series of math oriented steps to go through a problem. I'm actually able to sit there and show another person how they could probably do it easier or how the way that I do it. There is no right or wrong way of doing things. Now, having said that, there's a safe way of doing things, and then there's the DOS way of doing things. <laughs> As a few of you have figured out with my Fallout 4 streams. There's... There's experience that we learn along the way. There's the experience that we learn doing the right stuff the right way. And there's, there's the experience that we learn from doing the right stuff the wrong way. There's stuff that we do wrong stuff that we do the right way and then the wrong stuff that we do the wrong way it's and the life is made up of all of that and being able to sit here now on my streams being able to interact with you guys in the community by going to your channels going to your streams and being able to share my experience being able to help other people learn Yes, this doesn't make money, but it makes time. And to me, any time that I stream, any time that I make videos, it's no longer a waste of time for me, from my point of view. It's no longer a waste of time. 
because it is time well spent. It's time that I can help other people, even just for a little bit, help other people feel better about themselves for a little while. If I don't do that, well then, I just, for that little bit, I can make you guys smile for a bit. And from the feedback that I get from you guys during my streams, and for the few of you that have replied to me in my YouTube videos through the comments box, I'm doing that. And I thank you guys for that, because that gives me some sense of relief. There for a while, I was blaming PTSD for all of my issues, and it's not. Um, I'm going to a weekly therapist session every week, and I'm starting my VA appointments. And what it boils down to is this. When it comes to life, own your past. Don't get owned by it. Um, there's a semi-famous saying, quote, that came out when Robin Williams, unfortunately, passed away. And it was a conversation between a mother and daughter. And the daughter asked her mother why Robin Williams went away. And the mother replied, well, it was because of the disease of depression. And that struck a chord with me. Because of the fact that many people want to just concentrate on the sole fact that he committed suicide. I'm part of a unique per, unique movement called tw Hashtag 22 Until None. If you're not familiar with it, feel free to look it up. If I remember correctly, uh, I'm not sure the exact statistics because no matter where you go, the statistics change. But what it boils down to is that we have too many veterans that are committing suicide. And it's because mainly because of the PTSD everybody wants to concentrate on. But for me, it's because of the depression that comes out of the PTSD. I deal with the depression side of things. I've always had depression. I probably will always have depression. It's just part of who I am. I will always have that cloud over my head without having a definitive finger of why that cloud is there. It's just there. That's why I say is own the past. Don't get owned by it. There are things that I have faced in the past. There are experiences that I've had in the past that still define who I am today. I've been told, let go of the past. It shouldn't be part of you. And it is because the past defines who we are today and who we are today defines who we are going to be tomorrow or in the future I lost sight of looking to tomorrow I lost sight of planning things out where am I going to be in 10 years because my memory I'll never remember come tomorrow what my plans are going to be in the next 10 years. <laughs> that's, just, that's just who I am. I, I am such a huge, huge worry wart when it comes to getting all the details in line that I gave up trying to plan things out in the future. I don't know where I'm going to be. I honestly don't. I would like to plan to be here as a full-time streamer, and a part-time YouTuber because helping people is what I like to do and being able to empower people through my experiences to look outside of the box that they've locked themselves into and be open to new ideas and new paths to go down is what I like to do having somebody come up to me and say hey man, I took what you said to heart and I took a hard look at what I'm going through and yeah, you're right, thank you. That means a lot to me. It really does. Because then that opens my eye and saying, wait, I have an actual voice here. I'm not a person locked up in a room, even though I physically am, <laughs> locked up in a room with absolutely no voice whatsoever. I have... A unique outlook on life and that's the way I'm going through my classes right now is the fact that I'm going to classes with 
high school graduates and high school students that are taking a jump start and getting a head start on college classes. And at the same time, I'm going to classes with people who are twice my age and are sitting there in the class. And for them, it's so, so hard to get a grasp on what the professor is saying because their immediate knee-jerk reaction is, oh, this guy is younger than me. I shouldn't be listening to him. We all come from unique walks in life. So before we judge each other by our appearances or by the first words we say in the chat box, get to know that person. Get to figure out why they are the way they are. Hey, it could be that they're just sending up a warning flag saying, hey, I need a friend at this point in time. And that's what I built this community around or what I wanted to build this community around, and you guys have just been coming and filling it in, is the fact that welcome to our virtual couch of gaming with friends and now with family. Now that Rose is starting to join us, whenever I have the honor of spending time with her on my weekends, I get to share that time with you guys. And having that picture in my mind every time that I stream is very very humbling because you guys then come out of your shells you come out on your laptops your mobile devices whatever it is that you come out on during your times of whatever you're living through whatever you're going through and coming and joining us on our virtual couch and chipping in helping other people helping each other chatting having fun i have a unique look now and when i would go to my jobs before that was that those were jobs i would go there i would clock in do my job do my work clock out go home that was it and there was a lot of stress from that because at the same time that I was doing that, I was worrying about making sure that the bills were paid, making sure that the family was happy, making sure that my job was complete. Because where I worked at my jobs, I was constantly being hounded by all of the superiors, all of the higher ups, and the higher ups of the higher ups, and the higher ups of the higher ups of the higher ups. Because of how, what my job specifically was. It was a lot of stress. But coming out and doing my streams and showing you guys all of the unique bubbles that come up in the back of my head for commentary and comic relief and all the different voices that come around with that and seeing your guys your guys' reactions to that and saying hey you are really cool we enjoy your streams that is very very humbling and I thank you guys for that and I hope enough of you actually see this because I have no idea if everybody from my streams actually comes over to my YouTube channel and vice versa because everybody has their unique time set I've had to change my time schedule for my streams because of number one being in college classes number two the wizard 101 community is mainly made of students whether they're in college whether they're in high school whether they're in middle school whichever the case may be primary school secondary school whichever your definitions are, this is a global community after all, whichever the case may be, I've changed my time schedule to meet you guys because of the fact that you guys are the ones that come out to support me. So I should likewise do the same. And I've pushed my time schedule back because when the stream actually got up and rolling and snowballing kind of deal was over winter break. And then, ah, you're, um, and then everybody had to go back to school come the spring semester, I had to change my schedule a little bit. And because of that, I've actually had more people come out to the stream because of that, especially on Saturday. On Saturday, we hit over 400 followers, at least 10 of which were that day. Thank you guys for that. You are the VIPs. And I thank you guys for that. When I stream on Tuesday, which will be tomorrow by the time that this video goes up, when I stream on Tuesday, I will be doing pack giveaways. 
Now, I put that as plural because of the fact I want to give, give out to you guys. You guys are the ones that support me, and this is what little bit I can give back to you guys. But having said that, for future stuff, it takes investment. And of how I run my stream right now, and what I just told you guys with the community that I support, hashtag 22 till none, the proceeds from your donations are going towards the Gary Sinis Foundation. If I pronounced that right. If I didn't, correct me. <laughs> uh, what it is, is it's a project linked to the Wounded Warrior Project or I shouldn't say linked to, but they're similar in how they function. And they support soldiers, veterans, who are going through very, very trying times. And they go out and they support the soldiers through different programs and whatnot. Um, a song that you guys see often requested on my stream, or comes up on my streams during the song requests, is The uh, Wrong Side of Heaven. If you're not familiar with the song, go look it up. And that will open your eyes to some of the statistics that are out there. And these are my brothers and sisters that are going through these times. And yes, the TV and the internet are completely filled with all these commercials and whatnot. And this is my unique voice. Many of you, when you come out to my stream, you actually say, wait, you were in the military? Because of the fact I don't have that demeanor all the time. I don't have that mad at everything all the time demeanor. Most of the time I'm smiling. Most of the time I'm laughing. But then as soon as that one thing goes wrong, then DOS comes out. And then you guys figure out why I'm actually nicknamed DOS Bloomski or DOS Boom. Because of the fact that when my anger comes out, it comes out in force. And the few times where you guys got to see that little bit of it, I felt bad about it afterwards. Because you guys don't deserve that. And most of the time, it was over something stupid. Like a troll in the chat box, which comes up more often than not now. But I've put safeguards for that now. Or something that goes wrong in the game, and then you guys watch me get all frustrated and angry at the game over it. And it's entertaining for you guys, because of the fact that, hey, DOS is here! DOS is actually here smashing stuff, getting angry. And I guess that's a good thing? I mean, that's my saying for my outros, is it's alright to get mad, it's alright to get smash, go out and smash stuff, but keep it in the game. I guess that's my takeaway from all of this, is that thank you guys so, so much for coming out, for being part of this virtual couch of gaming community that we've built up, and thank you for being rageaholic fans, as I like to put it, because of the fact that this is my unique take on the world. This is my unique view. If you guys don't like it, I apologize. This is this is me. This is uncut. This is unedited. This is off the cuff me. And sometimes I'm going to have those rough patches and other times everything's just going to be smooth sailing. But the way that I look at it, if everything is smooth sailing, well, I'm doing something wrong because I'm oblivious to something. Because <laughs> for me, I never have the luck of everything going right. For me, everything's pretty much gone wrong. When I try to do the right thing, well, somebody views it as being the wrong thing. If I'm doing the wrong thing, well, somebody views it as being the right thing, which confuses the heck out of me. What? But anyway, thank you guys for joining me today, and thank you, thank you so much for the community and for the support that you guys show to me every day when I stream. Welcome to our virtual couch of gaming with friends, and with family. And as always, remember, it is all right to get mad and smash stuff, but keep it in the game, all right? And welcome to our virtual couch of gaming with friends and now with family. Woohoo! Bye, guys!